Hello, greetings everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm very inspired to make a video um, today because I just listened to um, my star sister's video, Carrie Ann from Quirky Cosmo. And the transmission was just so powerful. And also my crown chakra, my heart, I was really feeling her on a deep level. Um, of course, we just connected in person as well, which is always a powerful way. Um, but even without that, through the field and through the information that we're both, and many of us, I'm saying both because this is what I just experienced uh, just this morning. And also, I also had a beautiful conversation with another friend, uh, Starseed uh, teacher, wonderful person, Daniel. Um, and, you know, I feel, I feel so blessed and honored right now to be connected to these beautiful beings in this incredible time of transformation and ascension uh, that we are experiencing. Now, what she was mentioning was really important about the idea of us uh, transmuting and being here for the new human, the new humanity of higher consciousness. That's exactly what ascension actually is. It's just us reaching a level where we become very self-aware and we're emanating a certain energy frequency and we are spiraling with the energies um, that we are feeling and embodying. Now, this is a process. This is, a, this is also a choice that we make, um, not always an easy one. As many of you um, older starseeds, I guess, you know, I'm going to be 47, so I'm, you know, advanced in that uh, time frame of having uh, incarnated in a denser reality. Now, the frequencies are rising, as we know, and that's because a lot of us are doing the work that needs to be done. Um, and the idea of star seeds is really that we're seeding uh, humanity's consciousness uh, with a higher level of awareness. And um, this is what is creating the new humanity or um, the Pangea in which um, uh, Carrie Ann goes in wonderful detail about. And, you know, she's my guide for uh, learning about the gene keys and human design and the star systems. There's a lot of things that I am as I know, feeling and knowing on a deeper level from my own experience and my own journey. And we're all guiding and showing each other the way home. And as we, you know, cherish our unique essence more and more, the more we can um, really feel the frequencies of other people and what, what it is that they're, transmission, they're transmitting. So it's not just um, through words, it's actually through frequency and through um, an embodiment. So yeah, um, my own journey has taken me to be where I am right now as everyone um, and um, choices that we've made that have led us to self-realize to a certain extent where we know who we are, we know that we are uh, soul, spirit, essence, uh, God, you know, embodied to know itself through us and to be um, the memory, the social memory complex so that all of that information goes back into the Akash, back into the collective field of consciousness where everything is and we're just remembering we are remembering who we are as these ancient beings. Now, this isn't the mainstream reality. This is goes against a lot of what is happening on the planet right now, where um, a lot of people are in a field of confusion, of perhaps um, dimensional shift that is happening is causing a lot of fluctuation within and bringing more light. So if that, so as the light brings, comes through the darkness, and that is a unique individual process as it is a collective one as well. So, um, yeah. And so sometimes these choices, um, 
I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> These choices that we're making uh, daily in every moment uh, is creating our reality. And so um, this is what we're beginning to fully uh, comprehend, embody, and share with those who are interested. Of course, if you're not resonating, this doesn't um, matter or make sense to you, and that's perfectly fine. However, if you are, um, then welcome and let's join forces together in consciousness so we can ascend into more and more of the reality that we want to create. And that is an inside job, as we know, the kingdom of God is within us. It's also in our cellular structure, our DNA, and uh, the so-called junk DNA that is lighting up right now, if we so choose. Um, you know, the ancients, the Egyptians, these ancient civilizations had these techniques to awaken the light body, the um, what uh, we can call the, the rainbow body. Um, William Henry has incredible information on this, and I would recommend uh, Portal to Ascension, which is an, an awesome YouTube channel that talks about all these things there and uh, how sound frequency and all this affects us. But what are these techniques that the ancients knew about that was hidden from us for such a long time? So the, the esoteric is the hidden, and now we are beginning to be able to connect with that information. And again, this is a process because the more light you allow, the more you have to face your shadows. It's an inside job. The Gene Keys is a great tool for that because it shows us what the shadow aspect is, what the gift is, and a lot of us are stepping into those gifts and sharing. And the Siddic, which is the higher state, which is what a lot of the ascended masters and, and uh, teachers that came before Buddha, Jesus, uh, um, you know, and many of these beings had supernatural powers that, as they said, what I can do, you will do, and more. So this is where this is happening, um, if we so choose. Now, that timeline, again, time is not what we think it is. Quantum physics is showing us that as well. We can, um, through breath, through connection, through the heart, just become more of our um, eternal spirit, God essence. So as I've been exploring this for many years, um, having been through my own, like I've mentioned in my other channels, near-death experiences, uh, ayahuasca, and just being one of those like deep dive in seekers, you know, out there to um, understand this reality, decode this reality, what is, what is this about? Um, now we're stepping into our power, not power over, but power with, the consciousness that wants life to thrive, that wants an organic reality to manifest, that wants our children to have a healthy DNA and not to mess with that. And some of us as mothers and, you know, I have uh, three children, three daughters, I, um, I don't know, I think Google is taking photos of me, but hey. <laughs> thing is, uh, yeah, big brother, you know, um, this whole thing is uh, happening right now where uh, truth is being censored and all that, and a lot of us know and have known that for a very long time. And, you know, we are stepping into the uh, universal wisdom versus the so-called, you know, human um, systems that are not necessarily aligned with uh, this beautiful, organic, diverse DNA that we have on this planet where we uh, unite uh, together beyond borders, beyond color, beyond all of that, because we're becoming a cosmic galactic civilization. We're becoming uh, something much more than the little human that we were conditioned and programmed to believe that we are. We're very powerful. As we allow more and more light to come in, our gifts start to come online. 
And that is what's happening right now for those choosing that. Also to embody this transmutation and transformation of what it is to be human, the new human, the new earth human, the new higher frequency human, and not to be afraid of that and to continue uh, empowering ourselves together because as we do that, we're not we're not shying away from that power, which is what the program has wanted us to, to do for a very long time. And I know because I was caught in the darkness and the shadows for very long. And, you know, I've had lots of falls, <laughs> lots of, um, I guess, psychic attacks or things like that. But again, are they coming from me? Are they coming towards me? I don't know. Exactly. What I do know is that I have been on that path and am feeling the warrior spirit um, very strongly and the one that is willing to face truth and darkness in the face. And, you know, my ayahuasca journey was all about slaying this dark um, dragon like being that was like a, 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 a it was eating up humanity like this giant parasite and I've never really spoken about my ayahuasca trip but what the shamans in um, the jungle in uh, the Amazon rainforest were telling me was that I was also a shaman I was here to transmute a lot for humanity and then I started to understand more about my role here and all that um, but it's, it's a very internal process and it's not something, it's something I journal and I've been writing about, but I haven't been able to share a lot in the world because I, I didn't have that support or that power. I, you know, felt like I was fighting this battle a lot on my own, but what I'm really getting now is that there's a lot of us lighting up and blossom the star seeds are not seeds anymore they're blossoming into their full awareness and this is a beautiful thing that's happening and i'm witnessing it through my other brothers and sisters that i'm connecting with um you know uh, virtually right now on the computer but also in the field and as you know all of this is is coming online more and more so it's kind of like an angelic human that is taking uh its place or a, a new type of human. And this, was, this is a process, like I, like I said, the timeline for that uh, in, in Richard Rudd and the Gene Keys talks about this being um, kind of breeded out of our humanity. Uh, and then maybe a tangent happening where, you know, those who are um, messing with the DNA, RNA are not going to be able to, um, naturally you know naturally reproduce and things like that so we're going to see you know so so the choice point right now that's being made is a, an organic ascension timeline so it's very important that we become aware of ourselves <laughs> the choices that we make because you know when we bring our um our full masculine feminine subconscious conscious together the super conscious can start to manifest which is the whole holy holistic perspective and being that is not parasitical and looking to what 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 is it going to get out of you know other people or the system or actually the gene key for today is 54 which uh, Carrie Ann mentions I don't know she knows more about astrology and the stars I just, you know, I, I look at the gene keys and I read it. And uh, the shadow aspect of the 55th, 54th gene key is greed. The gift is aspiration and the Cidic level is ascension. So we can see that, you know, greed is uh, something that comes from our lower chakras and uh, the fear of not having enough and competing with others to be able to have your place or your things or your, you know, and because we're in this monetary system that is, you know, man-made and um, based on greed and, and, you know, we just have to look at history and colonialism and all that. Now we can be grateful. Again, I'm not judging. I'm just saying I was for a long time, okay? I, I've had a very 
strong connection to the indigenous and the Native Americans and all that. I have those roots, you know, within my DNA as well. We all do. I mean, on some level, we're all indigenous, but we're also all cosmic and eternal beings. So to blend those two is what creates the, um, the combination, the beautiful combination that we are these ancient earth beings and cosmic beings at once, you know. And then as we're really evolving into this next level, we're then able to uh, reach probably into the stars and other nations and all that. I have visions of this already. I mean, I can dance in a temple with uh, cat-like people and, you know, have frequencies and golden pyramids and these things are happening in my imagination, in a higher dimensional reality, I don't know exactly. I just know that these visions come through and that's all, you know. I don't have to necessarily super analyze them. I can just know on some level that we are reaching another level. And, um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And what I really love about Carrie Ann's teachings is that she's real. She, she's just, you know, it's her truth. It's her experience. And I, you know, for a long time, I feel like I've had to be like this spiritual teacher and, you know, the whole, you know, the program of being this like perfect, you know, and if I'm not, then I don't have a right to teach others and all these things that are all just self-judgment, ego, criticism, and things like that. And, you know, to step into power when you have past lives of being persecuted or rejected and all these things are coming through and it happens through your family relationships, it happens through friendships that no longer resonate and that, you know, feel like they're backstabbing you or the, all these things and it's like, okay, I'm clearing all that. I'm clearing my old relationships that were not reciprocity, where the energy's flowing between them and myself, where there's this beautiful, coherent flow of energy. You know, it's been like one sided or like, you know, more about taking and all of that. So I've been doing a lot of clearing of my Akashic field, of my energy field. I have my own, you know, rituals for that. Um, there are many you can look, anyone will do because it's all about intention. It's all about you declaring, making a decree to the universe that yes, I want this. Yes, no, I don't want this anymore. I'm clearing this so I can allow what is meant for me in this time at the highest level potentiality of my reality to become, you know, my higher being. The, the higher self is really you know, the guidance um, from source, from your own source, from the higher dimensional aspect of yourself. So again, these things are just coming through and language is not always the easiest way for us to explain. Um, but I really felt a strong, strong, you know, support. I have to say support is important uh, from my own source of my own God self, my own information, and then talking with others. Um, it's so weird that it seems to be taking pictures. I'm not sure if it's a setting or what's going on, but anyways, I'm going to be uploading this soon. Um, and you know, that's the thing, the, the, the fear of uh, persecution or uh, especially when we see just how how much is going on right now, how much censorship, you know, and as soon as you're not toting the mainstream uh, propaganda machine, you're, 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 what are they calling, covid idiots and uh, conspiracy and, you know, and that's very powerful, very powerful. Uh, I don't know why I just froze. I'm going to continue talking because I can see the timer is still going and maybe it froze, but um, interference, glitches, energy fields, these things happen. I'm going to clear that right now, clearing anything, any interference, clearing it all so that we can continue this transmission, this um, what I need to share right now in the moment. 
So thank you for continuing. I'm sorry if this is blocking, but I will continue to speak, okay? And uh, just know that even if there's interference, even if there's shadows, the light is always stronger. And uh, when we fully have faith in that, not much can get in the way. And uh, even if you fall, you rise again over and over again. And uh, that's what this is all about. And uh, as star seeds, you know, uh, we got to stay strong and um, speak truth to power. And I'm going to um, just stop this right now. But then I'm going to continue uh, a second part because I'm not done.